Hi there, I'm Manny. I'm an aerospace engineer and I work for NASA. So what does it mean to be an aerospace engineer? I design and analyze technology that can help improve airplanes, make them fly faster, but safely and efficiently. I do that by performing what's called fluid dynamic analysis. Do you know what a fluid is? Air and water are two examples of fluid. Because I work with airplanes, the fluid that I deal with is air. For that reason, my area of work is also called aerodynamics. Aero is a Greek word for air. By understanding the basic properties of fluid, like pressure, temperature, and density, alongside the shape and structure, one can design a better airplane that can fly faster, use less fuel, and be more efficient. Now remember I said water is also an example of fluid? Why do we care about water? If we understand how water behaves, we can design a better jet ski, a surfboard, or a boat. By the way, study of water is also called hydrodynamics. Do you know what the Greek word for water is? You guessed it right, hydro. The challenge you'll be doing today deals with an important property of water, density. And you'll do that by designing a boat. I hope after doing this challenge, you'll find a new sense of appreciation for STEAM. It stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Art, and Math. So with that, I'll let you get started. Enjoy. Hi, I'm Chris with the Cuyahoga County Public Library. And this is your weekly STEAM challenge. And for this challenge, we need a bunch of water, aluminum foil, marbles, and a towel in case it gets messy. Well, I have all my materials here, but you know what's really boring is doing a STEAM challenge alone. Is there anyone here to help me? I can. Good, let's get started. Okay, first we're gonna take two equally sized sheets of aluminum foil. And I want you to fold this one in half as many times as you can. Okay. Okay, and now I want you to take this sheet, which is the same size, and just crumple it up into a ball. Okay, that's good. So we have two sheets of aluminum foil that were the exact same size, and now they're, they're different. What do you think is going to happen when you drop this one in the water? I think it's, it's going to go up more. The water's gonna go up more. You think the water's gonna go? What's gonna happen to the aluminum foil? It's gonna sink. So, why do you think one floats and one sinks even though they're made of the same material and they were the same size? I think because this little one was folded into a teeny tiny like um, what's that called? Like? Square? Rectangle? Rectangle. And it it puts a lot of weight in just one teeny area, which makes it fall down. Okay. And then this one. And this one because it 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 was crunched, which it doesn't squeeze into one little tiny like that one, because it wasn't like folded. So this one got bigger and it puts more weight on the like, lab places, which it still seems a little bit. Okay, so but you're basically, basically right. It has a little bit to do with the shape, but it's also that this is more dense than this. So there's more air and space inside of this than there is in this. This is mostly aluminum, 
and then this is partially aluminum and partially air in space. So this is more dense than this one. What do you think happens if you drop a marble in the water? I think it'll sink to the very bottom because of how heavy the glass is. Okay. So what do you think will happen if we put a marble inside the aluminum foil and crunch it into a ball? I think it's, it's going to ha have air left so it's going to float. Okay, let's try it. Okay, drop it in. Okay. You're right. So the same way it worked before, the marble was dense and now this is less dense. So we got one marble to float. What would we do if we wanted more than one marble to float? Alright, let's try making a boat so we can float more marbles. You can use as much aluminum foil as you want and then we can test how many it will hold. Let's see how many this can pull. One, two, three. Thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight. 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 Oh wow, thirty-eight. Do you think you could have made thirty-eight float with just a ball of aluminum? No, indeed, because this one was about only like four or five and it sunk. So if that was thirty-eight, that's like 30 something more than that. <laughs> <laughs> 34 more? Yeah, 34 more. What do you think is different about those? You used about the same amount of aluminum for both of them. I used one aluminum for that and one for that, but I made a boat, but it was like way bigger than that. And as you can see on that very little one we had when I folded it, it, it sunk very easily. And then, so that sunk easier. So it was, this was bigger, way bigger, which made it um, be able to hold 38. So it's, it's less dense because you use the same amount of material, right? Yeah. But it was spread over a bigger area. Yeah. And so even though um, it was both in the water and you're putting marbles in both of them, there was more air in that boat while it was floating. So it was, it was kind of about the shape and it was also about the density. Does that make sense? Yeah. Should we try another boat to see if you can beat your score of 38? Yeah. So what's happening to your boat right now? It's sinking. Where did the water come from? Let's look at the shape of the boat. So, you think it was coming up here? Oh, I think it was coming from through here because it wasn't like attached to it. So, the smaller boat one. So this one didn't have any holes in the bottom. 
even even without anything in it. Look, I think it's still filling up with water. Yeah. Yeah, it still fills up with water. Because of the weight, it pushes it down a little more, which lets water get in more through there. So effectively, as the water goes in, it just like, the boat gets more dense. Because of how much water, because water weighs a lot. Yeah. So it just goes down because of the water. And it like stays stuck. Now it's your turn. <laughs>